Hello, everyone, and welcome to week eight of BUS 508 Contemporary Business. Today, we will be discussing different business hierarchy structures, which includes the divisional structure, network structure, and team-based structure. We will also be delving into the human resources cycle. So let's start by discussing the different business hierarchy structures. The hierarchical structure is one of the most common structures in business. It consists of a top-down approach where decisions are made at the top level and passed down through the ranks. As you can see, there is a clear chain of command in this structure and it's an efficient way to manage a large organization and ensures that everyone knows their role and responsibilities. Hierarchy structures can either be tall or flat depending on the industry and the firm's needs. Within the hierarchy structures, there is the corporate structure. And again, depending on the industry and competitive needs, the corporate structure can be centralized all the way to decentralized. Further within this framework are corporate structure types, functional, divisional, matrix, network, and team-based. Another popular structure is the divisional structure. This structure is typically used in larger organizations with multiple products or services. It allows for each division to operate independently with their own management and support staff. One of the corporate network structure types, the network structure, is a newer structure that is becoming more popular in the age of technology. And this structure relies heavily on outsourcing and collaborating with external parties. Another popular corporate structure is the team-based structure. And this structure emphasizes collaboration and employees work in teams to achieve common goals. It's an effective structure for small organizations or teams with a specific objective. And now let's move on to the human resources cycle. This cycle consists of six steps. Recruit, employ, reward, manage, develop, and transition or exit. We'll learn more about each step throughout the week. Well, that's all for now, and remember to review the material in your textbook and complete the assigned readings. Keep up your great class interaction. Your positive engagement continues to make this class a good learning experience for everyone. Remember, we have only a few short weeks left, so if you have any questions, reach out. I'm here to help. Until then, I'll see you in class.